In this brand new video of a Kyo TV, we're going to take a look at this TI-84 Plus CE-T graphing calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. So what do you actually get when you buy this calculator? Well, the calculator comes with two USB cables. One of them is USB A to Mini B. The other one is Mini B to Mini A. You also get a power adapter and you get some instruction manuals as well. Now let's take a closer look at the calculator itself. The first thing that we can see is that the build quality is actually quite good. It's a pretty solid calculator so I have no further complaints about that. This is the black and white version of the calculator. It's black on the front and white on the back. The back of the calculator is actually matte plastic, but the front of it is glossy plastic, and we all know that glossy plastic is a fingerprint magnet. That is slightly inconvenient, but glossy plastic still looks very cool. Then the calculator also comes with a plastic cover that you can put onto the back of the calculator or onto the front of the calculator to protect it from the elements and what is really nice as well is that both the cover and the calculator have rubber feet on them to prevent the calculator from sliding across the table when you are typing something which is a feature that I really appreciate. On the side of the calculator you will find this USB port. The USB port can be used to charge the calculator's battery or you can actually transfer data with it. You can connect the calculator to other TI-84 calculators, but you can also connect it to a computer, and then you can download software onto that computer from the website of Texas Instruments, and using that software you can install apps onto the calculator and even screen capture the screen of the calculator, which in my opinion is a really nice feature. The battery of the calculator is a 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, so that should last for a pretty long time. And the screen of the calculator is very, very nice. If you turn it on, you can see that it has a bright backlit color LCD. Yes, but it's a very low resolution. It's only 320 by 240 pixels, which is not quite HD but I guess you don't need a high definition display on a calculator. It's really nice though that the screen is color, makes it very easy to distinguish one graph from another. As I mentioned before, you can use a computer to install apps onto the calculator, but there is also a bunch of apps that is already pre-installed, like the Periodic Table app. This allows you to view the periodic table of the elements, and so view information about all kinds of atoms. Now when we get into the hardware specifications of this machine, it's actually quite disappointing. First of all, it's got 3 megabytes of onboard storage. Yes, that's right, 3 megabytes, not gigabytes. It's got 154 kilobytes of RAM and an 8-bit processor. That is indeed very low spec, and normally I wouldn't care about that on just a calculator. But, now let's take a look at the price of this product. The price of this calculator is over 100 euros, which I think is way too much for a device that has an 8-bit processor inside. So my conclusion about this calculator is that the calculator itself is actually fine, but the price isn't. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you actually did, then click the like button, and thank you for watching.